Hello and welcome back everyone to another episode of The Binding of Isaac. We will be going for a... I still have not beaten the game with... You know what, we're going with a... Blue Baby Run here. Because I feel... Like a challenge. And we start off with the item room right away, which gives us... Max Head. Have I ever gotten that item? It's damage upgrade, so I don't complain, but I don't think... If I have, it's been so many episodes ago that I do not remember it anymore. But hey! Good start, good start, and no enemies inside, that's also a good start, means there's less less risk of me derping it up. Getting some key, a key and coins, or pennies, always good. We have the Curse of the Labyrinth, which is not a bad thing to get at the first floor, because basement one, let's face it, it's so small that if I could get lost here, that would just be plain embarrassing. Um, so, we get two of you guys. Wow, our damage is awesome now. Tamis had really showing uh, what it's worth here. So we have the boss room. Uh, what do we have in the opposite direction? I do wonder. We have a dual fly. Or whatever it's called. I honestly haven't looked up the names of many of these uh, enemies yet, which uh, I probably should at some point. So we get Pride. Which, uh, I guess, should not be that bad a boss. It wasn't. Just a, he's just a bit of a pyromaniac. So the Emperor, that teleports me to the boss room, right? Right? Yes, it does. I might as well use it here because I don't expect to use it at any other point. So, might as well test it out and make sure that I remember correctly. Right? Uh, let's try not to play so much chicken with these guys because they seem to be... Play... And a playful... Oh, that was an accident. Uh, that uh, was... Well, thankfully we have a decent amount of bombs though, so that wasn't the worst thing ever. Uh, I just got caught a bit off guard and accidentally pressed the wrong button. <laughs> it happens. So, we actually got through all of this without taking any damage whatsoever. And we get these, which are... Range up. Not bad. Speed down. We won't take two of those, because now I'm already too slow. Health up. That's good. Let's get that off. Oh, damn, I need a speed upgrade now. Yeah. But hey, we got um, two health upgrades to this floor, which would have been exceptionally awesome if we had not been Blue Baby. But it's alright as Blue Baby. At least it means we get some more spirit hearts, which obviously means that we will survive for longer. Um, question is, how long? <laughs> we need to get something that can generate some spirit hearts for us. That much is evident. Going down, and again it starts us off right at the item room, which is teleport, which, surprisingly enough, I will pick this one up because it is better than poop. We go to the start room, why, thank you, you could have sent me to any other room in the entire floor and you decide to send me somewhere where I feel safe. Thank you. I much appreciate the thought. Uh, so all of those died at their own whim, so fair enough. If you don't want to be with me, then I uh, guess I can stop you from killing yourselves. That's kind of a sad way of putting it, but uh, well, let's go to the right then. That wasn't the right way. These guys should be fairly simple to deal with, considering that I just need to stand right next to them. And not, in a, not at a diagonal. Teleport. I keep using teleport because there is a chance that it might uh, send us to the shop for free. And since we only have one key, that would be really awesome. Obviously. So it sent us up here, which means uh, we all know the place right now. Uh, that's our curse room. We will actually go in there because if we can get any kind of upgrades, that would be... Oh, yep, Gobby's tail. One step closer to becoming Gobby and we have the free... A uh, free trip out of there without taking damage, so that's awesome. We have so much knockback right now, and I have no idea why I've just stood there and took everything as a man. Shoot dots, really. But we're so slow. Okay, so we're actually dealing a lot of damage. Already, already, wow. I am, uh, that's a really good damage upgrade. I need to look up how much that gives. If we could get the pentagram as well, we would be so OP. Okay, so we got to deal with the devil, which is awesome, hopefully. We could technically become Gobby, but we would also be dead. 
Um. Oh, I think I know what we do. We take this. And then we take this. Gobby Sable. There we go. We're Gobby now. I've not... I've... Okay, that is kind of cute. I have to admit that. <laughs> so we're Gobby. We have one soul heart, which is uh, exceptionally bad. And if we die, we will have to die eight more times, times after this. But hey, we are so powerful that... We get Steven. Uh, no, we're not so powerful that we get Steven, but we're so powerful now that uh, we have a decent chance of winning, actually, surprisingly enough. No. But we're too slow for my liking. Likening. Like? Okay, so we need we need a bunch of soul hearts now. There's no questioning that. If I die now, I will be so mad at myself. Okay, we're, gen we're generating flies. I had forgotten that. That's one of the side effects of being gobby. Awesome. I'm just going to pick up gold chests as we come along, because uh, it should be fine. Okay, he's not coming up anytime soon. Okay, he was. Should kill him. Two-shotting them. That is such an improvement over last time. I really, 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 really could use some health. Skeleton key. We won't lack keys now, and since we have Gobby's tail, we will get lots of times to use it. We will go to the shop, hope to not meet Greed, and hopefully they sell Spirit Hearts. They sell the map. I don't have enough for the map. That card could potentially be the Chariot, chariot? no, uh, the uh, Herothant, but uh, yeah, I'm not going up against a boss like this. I need health. There's no questioning it. <laughs> um, okay, these guys should be... Whoa! A bit too easy to deal with, I guess. I almost got hit because of it. I really, really, really need some health. We are really... We are playing it very risky here. I can't go into the curse room. My nose is running. <laughs> Interesting information. What? Ah, oh, stupid flies. Okay, can I... Can I place a bomb but not? There we go, thank you. That wasn't even the secret room, so uh, she probably have seen that coming. Okay, flies, would you... Uh... These flies are so OP. This could also be the secret room. Wow, we have a halo of flies now. There we go. We need a bunch of these. Which means that we can now buy the map and the card. Uh, the tarot card. I really hope the tarot card contains health. The good thing about, at this point, it doesn't matter if we die a few more times, because we'll just be revived. Uh, that should help a lot, and that is death, which I actually have an achievement I haven't unlocked for yet, so I might as well bring that with me. Uh, will we explore the rest of the floor? I do not think so. I do think so. I do, I don't, I do. We'll see what boss we have. Jobs, that should actually be really, really easy. So, uh, yeah, the flies are just tearing her apart. And uh, we could even hide in the rocks if we wanted to. Yeah, I don't think we'll have a problem winning this. Not that big a problem, at least. The 8-ball, not a great item. It could give us something good, though. The tower? Uh, no, I will take death with me, and we will be going down. To the next floor. So we know where the secret room is now, which is an improvement uh, over late, uh, previously. I actually expected to meet uh, a boss in here, not a boss, a uh, mini boss, but I guess we'll be meeting Greed in uh, our shop this floor then. But we'll be going there nonetheless, if nothing else, just to see what we get. I can open these without any problems. Um, we could use the compass, we could really use the compass, if nothing else, just to tell us where we have to go. These guys, so easy. We generate so many flies, it's it's uh, it's crazy. That little guy didn't even have a chance. Okay, take that bomb. Take that bomb, don't die. It would be imp really important. Okay, I'm actually really amazed that we finally became Gobby. That is something that I have uh, been planning to do for a while, but never really seems to have the chance to. This is a dead end, I know, but we might as well see if we get any consumables, and this should be a really, really easy room. I don't really have that much 
fear for anything right now. Uh, which is probably a bad thing because that will lead to sloppy Ow! play. We need speed upgrades. We really, really need speed upgrades. If we want to survive this. Especially if we get uh, up against like super lost. That would be really bad. Uh, yeah. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Let's help up, and I think it also has a bit of damage up. I don't remember, it doesn't actually say damage up, but there are some items don't actually say the entire thing they do, and some of them even have misleading uh, texts from what I remember. But this should be such an easy boss challenge room. <laughs> well, should, it is. Guppy's poor paw is uh, virtually useless because we don't ever have any... Uh, Red hearts, but so we, we would like to replace that space bar item with something useful. Say, blue candle, you know? <laughs> oh, anything really, just not poop. But we can't because that is already out of the rotation, thankfully. A beggar? We don't really have that many coins. A free pill that we know what does. Yeah, no, I'm already slow enough, thank you. The beggar we might get back to. Wow, he died. Really quickly. Do I generate when I hit or when I shoot when I hit, I think? We're going in here, getting the PhD. That should make it into a speed upgrade, I think. We'll be heading back there because it is, then we will be getting back to our, our base speed, which I would very much like. Oh, thank you so much. That is a helpful, helpful, helpful turn of events. Still not, it's still not exceptionally fast, but um, I could use death on this guy just because he's annoying. Yeah, I think I'll do that. That was a waste of a card, but really, I didn't want to deal with that. Getting more keys, which, uh, yeah, we totally need those. We're so, so lagging them. Haven't found the shop on this floor yet. Hmm. Ah, there we go. I expect there to be a greed or super greed in there. Could give us a steam cell, though, so won't we? Oh, <laughs> the not stacks. I know I said that any item was better than what we have, but not stacks is an exception. Sent us to the secret room. We already know where the secret room. We already been to the secret room. It will be safe for the next floor. Okay, so um, I can't tell. We might win. We might not because we're like pretty damn strong, but we're really, really bad health-wise. And health is a great. A big part of the entire thing, of the entire equation, which means I think if we do not get any more health upgrades, we might not win this, unfortunately. But let's try to be optimistic. There's lots of flaws with opportunities for more health, such as that. As long as I don't die and lose it all, I think that's it for this floor. So now we go to the depth, depth, and uh, ah, this is oh, okay. Thank you for that. That was uh, an accident, but an, uh, a, a happy accident, I dare say. Uh, let's just do this, see what we have in here. Okay, we will meet greed for this floor in the shop. I do not for a moment question that. That I, I need some I need some orbitals. That's what I'm lacking. Hmm, where would I get some orbitals? Uh... Deal with the devil, deal with the angel. I haven't really seen much of anything of that. I've seen one deal with the devil, of course. Which gave us all this awesome gobbiness. This is bad. Okay, we can use this for our advantage. Ooh, I almost got hit there. He is too sneaky. Stop that. <laughs> there we go. Getting some more bombs. Ah. Uh... We have the ability to fly, so we only take damage on the way out, thankfully. <laughs> only take half a heart of damage, too. Okay, that's good. I could go down, see if there's anything of interest that might kill me. Or not kill me, but... Oh, hello, Lost. Are we fast enough for this? If we aren't, that's fine. We can just hide. Hide in the rocks. There we go. That's a pill. It should be a good pill. PhD tells us it's locked up. So that should help if we ever find an arcade. Which there should be a decent chance of, actually, considering how many coins we have. The boss could be either way. It would have been nice with a compass by now, actually. Ah, item room. Good. So we went a good way here. 
Ooh. That almost hit me. Uh, the Magician, I'm just going to pop that here because I hate that FX. Um, let's go in here. Grab this Odd Moss Room. The brown Odd Moss Room. I think it slows us down a bit, but it gives us damage up. No greed. Book of... Did I just buy that? Jeez. Book of Revelations. I'm going to pick that up and y use it. Gives us half a spirit, uh, half a spirit, gives us a spirit art, and we will be meeting up with a uh, horseman, which will give us a cube of meat once we beat him. So that's an, that's at least one orbital right there, which I'm most happy to to receive. Let's uh, let's gamble a bit. We have lock up, so I expect to at least get something. Really? One coin, yay! I am so happy. I know I asked for something, but that's a bit less than I m meant. Yeah, okay, let's blow that up. And we get some more bombs, some more coins that we can use. Uh, should we look for an arcade? Let's uh, beat the boss. Let's beat the war, to be exact. Oh, you damn bastard. I could really use some things to make me a bit faster still. I know we're back to base speed, but that's still not essentially where I want to be. Gotta deal with the devil. I did not expect that. Let's see what we get. We could get brimstone. I do not want that. We could get lock food, which I do not want either. So this is an easy one. We skip that. That should give us a chance for a deal with the angel at the next floor, actually. I think. Isn't that how it works? I still haven't quite read into how it works, to be honest. Uh, I will. We will. Do we want to go to an arcade? That could be a fortune teller. A fortune teller could give us a bunch of. Um, spirit hearts. Plus, it could give us. Uh, ooh, should I have taken the lock foot in that case? Huh. Now I'm starting to wonder if I'd made a mistake. Hmm. I will be fine. So here's a normal. Let's see. Uh, normal chalice room. That could be good. Oh, it gives us the pinky eye. That's not the worst of items. But uh, that's. Uh, 10% chance of. Or something like that. Of. Uh, Poisoning our enemies? Yeah. Every now and then we will have a uh, poison tier. I don't think 10% is the right number, but hey, I just needed an number to throw out there, you know. The good thing about this is that even if we just keep hitting him from the front, if we at some point we hit him with the poison tier, at some point, any point now, there you go. And another chest with. Haha, <laughs> very funny. I see what you did there. Okay. Oh, no! That was a bit too close. That should take care of. That should sort itself out. That's two champions in one room, and a bunch of these that will not help. Uh, I think I'll just use this again. Get a spirit heart right off the bat. Oh, not right off the bat. At the end of this floor. Yeah, sure. Burn yourself. I don't mind that. That helps out a lot. There, no. You're not too bright, are you? <laughs> And of course, this, the poisonous tier comes right after we're done. Okay, so that's that floor. I think that paid out fairly well. Fairly well. We got the pinky eye, which is definitely an improvement to our tiers. Even though, though our tiers didn't need an improvement as such. We have a decent amount of health. I don't know if it's enough to beat Isaac, though. Um, Celtic Cross could be a really good item to get right now, actually. That would give me some temporary invisibility. Okay, so we know where our secret room is. Necropolis. I am not entirely happy with that. What is the... Oh, of course. How did I not... I am... Sometimes I am just stupid, you know. Took way too much damage to this room. This one fairly simple, easy room. Oh, let's grab some of this money. We don't really need it. There. I know the secret room was right there, but I need to uh, find a room where I am in a bit more safety. Plus is this one. That's actually pretty essential. Essentially what I wanted. Let's see there. Grab that. That's just more keys that we... It's not really a sore spot. Here we go. Here we go! Let's hope this gives us something. I need to sneeze. One moment. Ah, <laughs> oh, I look away and it explodes. Thank you for that. I guess my sneeze was too powerful. <laughs> uh, that sucks. 
And it really didn't pay out with anything at all. Uh, bombs, I know, but anything useful as such. Huh. We get... Um, we already have the ability to fly, so this is fairly useless. Is the Book of Revelations better? I think so, because it helps us heal, so to speak. That is not somewhere we want to go. Um, no matter what, I expect to somehow meet Greed at this floor. And since he wasn't in the secret room, he should be in one of the... Uh, in one of the... in the shop. Oh, thank you, Flies, for taking that one out. That could have uh, cost me some damage right off the bat. And you got yourself stuck. So uh, you are easy to deal with. Uh, why is my Book of Revelations not... It really does take some time to... <clears throat> to recharge, doesn't it? If I use the Book of... If I continue to use the Book of Revelations, that also means that I will be meeting... I will be getting my second cube of meat at this floor, which I am actually fine with. Because that makes our... That makes it... Both defensive and offensive, which is awesome. Because we, anything that can help us shoot the enemies is fine. We could also keep going and trying to get a sec, uh, a third, maybe even a fourth cube of meat. Which uh, I guess that's actually an achievement I'm lacking. I'm talking about a, about a lot about achievements today, I know, but I haven't really focused on those in a while. So hey, might as well. That's some health right there. That's good. Impressively enough, we haven't actually gotten the rock in a while. Hmm. This room has turned out to be a lot more, a lot easier than uh, it would have been if we didn't have the ability to fly, obviously. No! I am not going to take damage to you now that I am faster. There we go. Hello, Greed. Please don't give us the steam cell at this point. That would uh, be pointless. Hmm. What's that? <laughs> Very funny. Very, very funny. You're a funny guy. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh! I have no idea how I did not... How I managed to not get hit by the first one when I was that slow at moving. Second one... I don't know why I got hit, though. We'll be gambling a bit since we have a decent amount of money. I think we only have one more store left we can actually go to at this point. Uh, which is the next floor. So we should just have, like... I don't know. Just a decent amount of money with us. Like 15 is the, is the gold number, I guess. See, the arcade can actually pay out with soul hearts. It's not likely, but it can happen. So if it would be so kindly. If it would be so kind. Just pay out with something. Anything. Haven't we gotten like two lock-up pills? And yet we don't get anything. Yeah, okay. Let's deal with this and... Whoa. What just happened? I think... Gobby's head was at fault for that. I, I'm not going to do that again. That was too risky and I lost half the spirit heart because... I wanted to dodge that bomb. Okay. <laughs> Let's try not to derp it up when we've gone this far. This is a pretty good run. Pretty, pretty good run. I don't like this room. Okay, at least it's just the ones with the um, maggots or... Is, are those maggots or silkworms? What is that fly doing? <laughs> okay, so that is a boss. We can come back for that. Yes, yes, and yes. HP and serious upgrade. Definitely worth my time. Most definitely worth my time, even if I have to fight a few waves of bosses. As long as I don't take damage to them. Hello, peep. I did not want to meet you, but if I can just deal with you really, really, really fast before I take any damage, preferably. That uh, should be it. Actually, I think we could do it without him even jumping. Yeah. It, uh, you're supposed to be dead. That was simple enough. We'll get one more spirit heart there. We'll come back for this. Remember, there is an eternal heart. That is just a small semima for myself because I might not remember it. We uh, will go in here. The shovel. Might as well get it out of the rotation so we don't risk finding it again. Uh, I could use half a spirit heart on this, I guess. Uh, we could have been lucky. It could have exploded. Could have given us the blood back. Didn't. Life sucks like that. Can't always get uh, 
Everything you want. There we go. This is a fairly simple room when you got the ability to fly. Very funny again. Going up. Oh, I forgot that I had to take that. Uh, I forgot that I had to take the Eternal Heart with me into this battle. I seem to forget that a lot, don't I? So we have one less on the health. We have two less on the health, thanks to my derbiness. We're, of course, we're meeting the champion, the worst champion version of Mom, that I do not like. Please just die. Thank you. Got a spirit heart, which is good. Get a range upgrade, which is garbage, I guess. And we're going down to the next floor. We're actually dealing a lot more damage than I had expected. Not that I'm complaining. I uh, really do like that. Okay, these should be fairly simple to deal with. We did, of course, we did not. I was just about to say we did not deal with uh, uh, horsemen in that floor, but no, of course we did not. It was the mom floor, so derp, derp. <laughs> We'd never have the risk of, of running into a horseman at that point. So I think we will just be dealing with him like so. It's the simplest way of doing that. This one we can totally do the correct way without it hurting us. Nope, not taking that one. Using that. Here we go. Seal room contains a few coins and access to this room, which I would be entering nonetheless. Get one, lose one. So that was useless. That was a waste of time. But it was a shortcut over here, which led us to. Uh, a challenge room, Ooh, a red chest, teleports us to Krampus fight, that's actually not that bad. That could give us a lump of coal, which is definitely an even, uh, even more improvement to our tiers, at uh, a distance at least. I don't know, to, I will not complain about that. That could actually pay out really, really nicely if I just don't take any damage. Getting him poisoned is a really good thing, it didn't last very long though, fortunately. There we go, thank you, that's exactly what I wanted to do. And he's dead. And love coal. Awesome. Actually, it turned out really well. We'll go back to the challenge room and see what it contains. It could contain something worth our time. Could also be garbage, which is what I usually expect. Didn't we just have one of these rooms? Like, the exact same? Uh, yeah, sure. Sure, I don't mind that. That actually really does improve our... Uh, it's a waste of time, I know, but hey, might as well enjoy it while we can. Might as well test this out. That is actually really, really powerful now that I can shoot extra, extra many tiers. Look at the sheer amount of flies we're generating because of the number of tiers I'm shooting. That is insane. <laughs> Two monsters, fine, sure. Throw it at me, I'm not afraid anymore. <laughs> I'm getting a bit cocky, but oh my god, this is just plain ridiculous. I know if you if you're one of those people who have played the Binding Isaac before, you're probably wondering why I'm this. Uh, I don't really need that. Why I'm this um, excited about being gobby? But honestly, it's the first time I have been gobby. Give me give me a break. <laughs> this is just for me. This is ridiculously powerful, and I love it. I kind of think we will be beating this. Um, we will be successful at this one. Kinda. Still. I have my doubts because of the health situation, and my dodging is never good. We have one orbital though, which should help at least a bit. Don't you dare. Okay, we. One thing that we're really still lacking though is something that can generate us some spirit hearts. That would help a lot with uh, something that could generate more spirit hearts than Book of Revelations. Or Nun's Habit, which is unfortunately not possible at this point. There are no more shops, I believe. Which is unfortunate. All pills are good, so we get pretty fly. That is an orbital. It's uh, only a defensive orbital, which means that it don't actually do much other than take tears. But hey, an orbital is an orbital. I will not complain. Uh, there you go. <laughs> From over there, I was afraid that we had blocked the room. These orbitals not really doing what I had hoped for. There we go. I guess it's just because I was too... S Why did I even bother to go in here? No, I'm not going to deal with you. Could blow him up, but... Meh. Now we're on our way back. So, we're good for damage. We are 
bit slow. I could, I could, I would be happy for an all um, speed upgrade. But we're definitely good on damage. We're more than good on damage. We're better than I've ever been. I think this is, this is probably without doubt the most powerful run I've had this far. Um, which doesn't say a lot because I haven't played that great this far, but still. Uh, the Locket Toe, I don't think will do much of anything for us. I really do like our, uh, the, the chance of having Poisonous Tears. So I will keep it, at least for now, until so something better shows up. Uh, could be down here. That's the bot, bot, bot fight. <laughs> the boss fight. <laughs> the bot fight. Yeah, I think we might risk meeting conquests. Which is a really annoying boss, but it'll be fine. I'm sure we'll survive it nonetheless. Right now I'm just, since we are so powerful, I'm just, uh, you know, exploring the rest of this floor just to see if we can get some uh, good items or chests. I might actually want to go back to those three rooms. Death. I think I will be going back to at least one of them and use death just to get it over with quickly. They could actually contain a mini boss, one of them. It would be nice with a compass, that would have told us. Hmm. So we're gobby. It's awesome. Ah, uh, let's just... That's not the card, that's a bomb. Waste of a bomb, but hey, we get two new bombs, so what? whatever. It's not like bombs are really that sore spot. The game has been really, really generous this time. I do not like flies. Uh, flies, I do not like spiders. This is a waste of time. Could blow it up, could potentially give us some more money. Some keys. I don't think it gives spirit hearts though, so it's... That could be good. Uh, was okay, more money. If we could get money equals power now, that would actually... <laughs> that would be ridiculous, but it would be pretty cool. We could... Look for... Second secret room, I don't expect it to be here. It wasn't there. I really don't know, it's such a big flaw that it could it could potentially be anywhere really. Um I'm thinking it's probably at one of the upper ledges or the upper ledge up there, one of the two rooms right next to the slot machine room. Was that an arcade? I don't even remember. So we're going up against death actually. That is pretty much essential right now right now. That is much better than conquest at least. I do not mind being up against this guy. He is uh Pretty easy to beat, especially when he beats his own minions. Oh, gee, I did not... I need to uh, keep an eye out for that one. Now I just need to hit it. Hit it, DJ! Um, there we go. Get that second cube of meat. And down to the next floor. Should probably have gone back and taken the tower card, but eh, it's fine. So we get the Curse of Darkness. That is actually kind of frightening. Utero 2 is not that frightening. So we're going up against mom's oh it lives mom's heart same thing technically but uh, mini boss two of you guys i am not at all afraid if anything i'm kind of believe that it's just you guys and that goes right back at you okay so the flies are actually doing that to them. whoa that they're just sending them flying at really high speed <laughs> oh that's kind of funny I really like this run. I, I actually, I really, really like this run. I can't say that about a lot of runs, especially, especially recently. But this run, I really enjoyed. Not, not that it's over yet. I don't expect it to just end here. But uh, this far, I really enjoyed it. Is that a shop? It could be a library. I don't think there should be a shop here, right? That's a library. The two of the same item. The Book of Belial. Book of Belial is a damage shop great could come back here and get it, but um, what are the... Ooh, I should probably have taken damage there. What are the odds that we will get this recharged enough times? Book up a lot. We don't, we're not really sore on, on damage though, are we? Not really. Let's be honest. That's probably the one thing that we are not lagging. <laughs> but that is the one thing we are especially not lagging. So... The problem with Curse of Darkness is that I have no idea whatsoever where the secret room could be. That's the champion version. He's probably going to be able to... No! Nope, he didn't even stand a chance of... A single chance of getting uh, any shots in. Lols. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Let's hope for a good item here. 
hills. Those are always good now. Speed up. Thank you. Range up. Sure, that should help with our lump of coal. Actually, do we even have a lump of coal effect anymore? I don't know. Wow, our uh, range is kind of ridiculous. Let's get that one used. So our health isn't that bad. It's not great either. Basically, mainly because we don't have anything to generate more spirit hearts with other than the Book of Revelations, which is really, really slow and rich. It just died. <laughs> uh, rich arching. But it could have been worse. Could have been a lot worse. Health up. Sure. Uh, these eyes, I'm so glad that we're just tearing them apart that fast because those are really annoying. Speed up. Yeah, sure. We're still uh, Emperor. That could take us straight to the boss if I get lost. Or if I uh, feel like it. At this point, I don't really see a reason though. We, it's not like we're in danger. Push pin. No, I'm still content with keeping pinky eye. Flies. Uh, neutral flies, even. Two chests. Health up. Yep. The other one is a speed upgrade, right? Yeah, I think we're fine with the speed by now. Um, there's a limit as to how fast I want to be. Oh, I should have shot a die. I should have shot a die. I didn't take damage, though. That's wonderful. Uh, should I have taken that one? I should probably should. I will be going back for that. It's not like bomb bombs aren't really that sore spot, especially that now that it keeps throwing them at me. But uh, let's see what we get. We get of course. Wow, one of the eyes are already out. Thanks for that. Uh, we could probably do some crowd control bombs here, but I probably should actually. Probably be wise. But we're dealing so much damage that we're just... I don't expect this fight to be... Yeah, we're already halfway through. Whoa! I didn't even notice. That's insane. Have we ever done a mom's hard fight this fast? Uh, never mind. This is going to take a bit longer place to... Oh, really? I was really hoping to not take any damage. Any... I was really hoping to not take any damage there, but I... Derped it up. So we're... She's staying around now, and she's... Not gonna like it. <laughs> and done so. The D6. I finally unlocked the D6. Okay, one thing to note here going into this room will just give you a trip to, this, to shore, so we might as well go to the cathedral and not waste our time. I could go straight to Isaac. Is that advisable at this point? I don't know, but we're doing it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> this could probably be uh, what causes me to die. Ooh, whoa. Okay. I need to be much better at dodging. Okay, we have so much shot speed that this is bullet hell. Okay, let's try and be a bit more... Um, a bit less... Uh, okay, I shouldn't go in there. I should not go in there. It's not worth it. I don't think I even have to go that close to him to... Actually, effectively... Oh, Jesus, man. Okay, I think we can win this. I think we can win this if we just play it safe. Play it safe, come on. Yeah, I'm fairly sure. That's third phase. We have over half our health still. Here comes the... Baby demons. Or whatever they're called. Angel thesis. There goes Isaac. And that unlocks Rainbow Baby. And something icky, apparently. Didn't we all unlock that? Well, we beat the game again, this time as copy. I already watched that several times. I don't like that music. So there we go, one step closer to the pole, right? Gobby challenge completed. Technically, not a challenge, but for me it was. That was just an exceptionally good run. If you enjoyed it as much as I did, and I really, really freaking enjoyed it, please do press that like button. Um, if you haven't subscribed and you think that I'm worth that, you might as well do that as well. Enough of the advertisement. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, please do take care and I will see all you lovely people again sometime soon. Bye for now! Ah, I should not allow these enemies to hit me. Oh, keep the motivation. Things will be good. Um, it could be good to have the, no the money. But I'm fairly sure we'll get the money otherwise. 
Mom's knife? I've never had mom's knife before. 